Iranians forced to remove hijab-free photos from graves. In an escalating crackdown on mandatory hijab laws, the Iranian government has forced a family in Kermanshah in western Iran into the unthinkable, removing a photo of their late daughter from her own tombstone because she wasn't wearing a hijab. This startling act is part of a wider stringent campaign to enforce the Islamic Republic's dress code, not just in public life, but extending its grip into the private sphere, even including cemeteries. The Behesht i Zahra, the country's largest cemetery near Tehran, has seen the eradication of hundreds of gravestones bearing the images of women without hijabs. Moreover, it has ignited sparks of violence between those in favor of and those against the mandatory hijab law. Despite the vehement opposition from many Iranians, the government continues its unyielding march towards its stringent enforcement of the law. Yeah, so D, our wow. lovely editor, had this comment. She said, hassled even in death. Absurd. And that was the first thing that I thought of. I was like, there is no rest, even in death. Like, the removal of the images of women without hijab from gravestones has actually been happening in Iran for um, some time now. I remember a similar story about two years ago. And it just, it, it made me think about the erasure of women. Because in so many ways, the hijab and the more conservative the hijab is, is a way to censor and redact any individuality from that woman. The more conservative the hijab gets, it becomes the total erasure of the personhood of that woman, including even her eyes, her face, her hands, anything. Anything that makes her an identifiable individual erased because she's a woman and that's the nature of the islamic republic and the nature of this fundamentalism is to erase the presence of woman so completely that even in death even in death who they were as a person as an individual has to be censored, erased, covered, hidden. And something about that imagery, it just, it really, really sticks with me. Armin, what do you think about this? I mean, these people are sick. The whole, the point of hijab is so that somebody doesn't get tempted to come and have sex with you. So given that what they say that's the point of it then how does that apply here you're dead i didn't, I didn't you're even dead think about that i didn't even think about that oh my god you're dead they can't have sex with you anymore so why can't what yeah i don't know is the idea if you're dead but there is a picture of you without hijab on your grave and someone looks at that photo and they if a man looks at that photo and they get tempted or turned on by that photo, even though you're dead, do you still accrue the sin of them being tempted by that? Do you think you still accrue that sin? No, no, no. If you're dead, uh, you're basically your your notebook is closed. So okay. your parents are. So it's your parents that are sinning by putting your picture. Oh there. my god. Yeah. So the mother. So the mother who lost her daughter. Um, if she puts the daughter of her, uh, the picture of her daughter without a hijab on the tombstone, if people in a graveyard passing by and see that picture and they get horny, so they're basically doing the mother a favor, the family a favor. How like people are wa just ran walking in graveyards and getting horny by seeing hijabless uh, women on tombstones. And it's just, you just, you just turn the cemetery into just a pornographic basically. Um, it's freaking insane. It, the, like the, the, just, the thought process behind this decision, like yeah. that you just laid out, the thought process is insane. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. 
like, hey, I'm feeling horny these days, and let me, let me go to the graveyard and look at some pictures <laughs> of some woman without hijab. <laughs> like, just, it's yeah, so like, crazy. It's just like Iranian Pornhub, apparently. So that's yeah. like, we're saving the young people, you know, from all this temptations Temptation. in graveyards. Temptations in graveyards, yeah. Jesus, that's so <laughs> crazy. That's yeah. so crazy. Yeah. What did you think about <sighs> what I said about the erasure of the individuality and personhood of that yeah. woman? Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically t t turning them to something they're not. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you said it a lot better because uh, you, this is something I don't experience personally, t taking your womanhood away, your identity away from you, you know? Um, and I think, like, a lot of people don't understand how it, that goes to the very core of what it means to be you when some when uh, when somebody tries to cover you like that, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But that, yeah, that's very, it's very deep. But I, I I don't see any pictures of the non hijab. Like these are what are these eight? Oh, look at this eight eight headstones bearing the images of unveiled or partially veiled. Oh, not even partially veiled. So even if this partially veiled, they still have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Women have been removed from Tehran's largest cemetery as part of a crackdown on so-called bad hijab in Iran. Wait, so this is this one one of the ones that were removed? This one on the right? Because yeah, so that was issue? when this happened a few years ago. When was it? Yeah, last year. So this is mm -hmm. this new news is like a continuation of that. Of that, okay. Because this one doesn't seem like, yeah, this is just a little bit of hair. So yeah, weird weirdos, yeah. weirdos. I mean, think about the distance that the people are, have. Oh, by the way, maybe make, do you want me to give you something I tweeted about what the civil disobedience about hijab people are having yeah. uh, in Iran? Do you want to do you want to see that? I made that. I am I'm proud of this video I made. I made a collage. Oh, by the way, the the Freedom from Religion Foundation celebrated that. Hey! So like, I, I made a collage of the civil disobedience in Iran and people removing their hijab and the Freedom from Religion Foundation quote, quote tweeted that saying, these are such hopeful images out of Iran. Thanks for sharing, Armin. I just, aw. Guys, from everyone religion go Foundation. support FFRF. They are the yes. best. Yes, yes. And they're also very and, nice okay. in person. Yeah, so let me share the images. Hold on, let me pause that so I could do it with audio. Do you have it? Yeah. Why can't I go to the beginning here? So this is what you're watching is the new Iran. Okay. This Yo, is she's people... out here with a crop top. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> is yo. Hey, yeah. yo. Wait, <laughs> so this is my caption. I said, this is what Iran looks like these days. Every day, more and more women join the campaign of civil disobedience against forced hijab laws. They refuse to comply with the Islamic dress code despite threats of fines and harassment by the morality police. Yo, Look, like, this is no, no hijab is one thing, but the crop top, I'm like, oh my mm. God. Yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, so, so, like, so here. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Awesome. You're muted, Armin. So a lot of a lot of these pictures, I don't know if you could tell, they were in front of hijab signs, like yeah, in front of signs hijab saying, promoting hijab, and, and people were showing their fingers to the signs. Yeah, 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 yeah. And people were like, at the, the end picture was like my favorite because these are doctors, either doctors for the, either doctors or nurses in a hospital. Let me just bring that last they're picture students. up. No, they're not students. They're either doctors or nurses, right? They look like but they just me. Miss student, yeah, but they all have their hijabs off, like they mm -hmm. they hold it in their hands, like a, they're showing it that they're taking it off just in a row. That one was my favorite, yeah. So I, that's why I put it for last. Yeah, but people people pay a heavy price for this, and the and guys, it's not one or two people. Like in Upper Tehran, half of the women are like just walking around; it's illegal, and half of the women in Upper Tehran are just walking around with no hijab. I feel like, like it's as, more than half, based on the videos that I've yeah. seen. It's like a yeah, solid yeah, yeah. seventy-five it's a, percent. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know. It's insane. Like this, the bravery is insane. Yeah. So I mean, Masa I Amini mean, died for wearing, a much, like she was she was wearing a hijab, for much less than that. So yeah. Yeah. This comment yeah. is cute. Wait, where did it go? Amira is saying, "This is my country and my heroes." Teary smiling. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have some Iranian women in our atheist republic community who are freaking badasses. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Parsa. Par we have somebody from Iran. Parsa, I, I'm, I'm assuming based on his comment, is from Iran. Mm -hmm. He's saying, bro, everyone, everyone is not covered in my community. So wherever Parsa is, nobody is covered. That's insane. <laughs> so, uh, men have started to do it too. I saw recently sure, yeah. um, men wearing pants that were ripped very like a lot on the yeah. thighs because like technically that's yeah. illegal for men too like you can't wear shorts right i sh in the pictures that you i just showed you there was a man wearing shorts that's oh okay. that's it yeah. and the government is coming out and actually reminding like they said you know hijab is not just for women right hijab men also need to have their hijab hijab <laughs> hijab is is like mic. <laughs> I, I, just, so I love the idea of the government coming out and being like, you men are whores. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like they were like, they came out like this summer, we want to remind you that it's not just women that have to mind their hijab. Men should also be minding their hijab. Like you can't be showing your legs and stuff. All on men's so legs. funny. Meanwhile, Ronnie and men are out here like, city boys, city boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, guys, like men, hijab is not just a female only concept. In Islam, hijab, men also have their hijab. That means that they can't wear shorts. They can't be showing Fellas, off their legs. And stuff. Put yes. those thighs away. <laughs> put the thighs away. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you see a little bit of that thigh, and you're like, I mean, I know, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we be working hard on us, like we exactly. We, it's leg day. Leg day, you know. Come on, bro! I see you've been, people that, you've been putting in that work. Yeah, <laughs> like we do upper body and lower body, and there's nobody to appreciate that. So yeah, yeah summertime comes in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure is sing. Shorts are for sluts. Shaking my head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Muhammad is saying grateful to be in UK. Yeah, <laughs> so you should be. Um, Let those all right, breathe, fellas. <laughs> hashtag hashtag, hashtag like day. So day. <laughs> like day. All right. <sighs> um, yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to be sluts, guys. Be sluts. Be sluts as you want. <laughs> Um, can we... <laughs> okay. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, 
Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.